That was literally the sketchiest yard that I've ever done in seven years of mowing lawns. I know there's sketchier yards that I've seen, you know, on social media, YouTube videos and so on. And I'm sure there's some crazy stuff out there. Um, you know, comment below what some of your, what would make this yard even sketchier? What yard do you have that's sketchier than this one and what makes it that way? I mean, I can't even imagine what would make this yard any sketchier than it already is other than maybe adding water, you know, like to the bottom of it. So like, you know, if you slide down, you end up just going off an edge into, you know, water, into a lake or river or whatever, pond, you know, obviously that's dangerous. Ultimately, you know, they, there are some things that I can, I guess, fathom that would make that yard worse, but ultimately that's, that's one of those yards that you have to be easy. And um, I've tried every different pattern on there i mean straight up and down is like you know you're, you're just asking for it at that point i've done diagonals to try and split the difference you know instead of going straight up and down which is obviously super risky and not going side to side all the time which is going to put ruts in the, in the in the yard eventually going diagonal kind of splits the difference so that is a little bit better for sure than going up and down but it's still you know you still have the steep part you know all along that whole you know up against the house you still have to come up on that so the best the best thing that i've done obviously is side to side and that's what you should do on steep slopes you should always go side to side you should always turn up the slope and then back down the slope into your next stripe and then go you know into your next pass and go lay down that next stripe so <clears throat> you never want to turn downhill if if you turn downhill that's it you're just going to send it all the way down the hill 
um, or at least you're giving yourself a lot of likelihood of that happening, especially if it's wet, the ground's soft in any way. So always turn up hill um, when you're when you're trying to turn around or reposition yourself. Always turn up and then back down. There's just less momentum that way. The weight of the mower is up in front of it, and you inch backward versus turning around and you're just facing down, and all of the weight is pulling the mower down, including you. You're just pulling it, you know. It's just all slides downhill, so that's just not a good situation. Trying to back up a hill, obviously, is not going to work. If you, if those of you that know that and have tried that, that's that's not a successful at all. You're just going to run up the, the, the ground and all that, and most likely end up sliding further down into a mess. So you really, it's all about positioning yourself at least sideways, if not up forward. You know, you want to creep your way, however bad of a situation you're in, you always want to creep your way up a hill. At least start to angle yourself up the hill. So you can at least get one tire starting to go forward instead of backwards, forward up the hill instead of backwards up the hill. So you do what you got to do. Hopefully you guys are all careful and you know you don't get yourself into too many of those kind of situations. But I ha I've gotten myself into all kinds of situations like that without yards like this. This is the first time I've had a yard this crazy. There's been certain sections of different yards that have been crazy that I guess have prepared me for this yard ultimately because I would have freaked out. Uh, I wasn't really nervous at all mowing this yard for the first time, probably because there was no edge of a cliff anywhere into oblivion or into a water source or something. But yeah, it's super sketchy the higher up you go. And it's just one of those things that I just wanted to make a video about it because I don't have too many yards like this, but I'm sure a lot of you do. Or if you're just starting out, you want to know what to prepare for and what to see. You know, don't necessarily turn yards like this down. I mean, if all you got is a push mower, you know, or 30 inch, um, walk behind mowers or something. Walk behinds are best for those kind of terrain. Uh, but I mean, I've been using this grandstand for four years now. So I mean, I've done all kinds of crazy stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing on that mower. I'm super comfortable on that mower and I can just kind of do whatever. So if you, so it depends on your operator level, your level of comfort, your skill. So based on your comfort level and experience and all that, you just want to make sure you do everything the right way, the safe way, make sure you have the right equipment. So, you know, if you don't have the right equipment, if you just have a, a sit down zero turn and a push mower, a big yard like that probably isn't ideal to push mow for sure. It's, it, it grows super tall and thick. So, I mean, your push mower is just not going to make it through that. It's going to take you forever. And if you don't feel comfortable yet on a sit down zero turn mowing that side to side, again, pointing, you know, turning uphill and backing down, then going down your next pass. Uh, that takes time and practice. I get it. Then, you know, maybe you shouldn't take on that yard, but I'm not saying to turn a yard down like that just because it's like that. You just need to know your comfort level, your skill level, the type of equipment you have and go from there. Yes, I do. In most cases, charge extra for yards like that. I mean, there's a, you know, just like you would charge extra for fences versus non fence. We have two identical yards, the same amount of square footage of grass, and they both have the exact same obstacles or whatever, like two plots of grass. One that has a fence all the way around it, you're going to charge more, or you should charge more for that one versus one without a fence because it's going to take you however many minutes longer to trim around that whole fence. So that's just time is money. And, and in the service industry, we're charging for time, uh, we're not selling a product. When we're mowing lawns hopefully you guys found some value in this video again comment below your sketchiest yards what would what would you think would make this yard even more sketchy what are some of your experiences with some crazy yards i've seen some crazy videos recently with mowers flipping over and sliding down hills and all that kind of stuff so just be safe out there remember i mean it's all fun and games till somebody gets hurt um, or something's damaged. So make sure we're safe out there, but obviously have fun, enjoy what you're doing, but do it the right way, the safe way. Uh, and make sure you're charging extra, making that money. If this is your first time checking out my videos. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Click that like button if you found value in this video. And be on the lookout for my weekly videos.